everyone and welcome back to Vlogmas! So today we're going to be doing the Christmas tag. Yes! Talking oh, sorry, all... I got too excited. <laughs> so talking all things Christmas, 20 questions all about Christmas. We'll pop them in the description box um, so that if you want to take part in this tag, you can as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can also play along in the comments. Yeah, let us know your answers. Question number one. What's your favourite holiday movie? Oh, easy. Go on. Yeah, it's the Santa Claus starring Tim Allen. I, I harp on about it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and if you'll know from our Etsy store, we brought out a Christmas badge for Christmas and it's based on the Santa Claus. Yes. <laughs> Although, I mean, jingle jangle. I know. That's, uh, oof, that's barging its way in. <laughs> it's really difficult because I love so many different Christmas films for different reasons. But I feel like I have to say the holiday because <laughs> it's my favorite film ever and it is technically a christmas film yeah um so yeah i'm gonna have to say the holiday but there are so many christmas films that i love <laughs> number two what's your favorite christmas color oh green is the one that green. springs to mind straight away i'm gonna go for gold gold i okay. love gold what made you say gold i just out of all the Christmas colours, I just love when there's like a little bit of gold. Yeah. Sparkly gold. I think green, because I just immediately think, you say Christmas, Christmas tree. Think of green. Number three, do you like to stay in your PJs or dress up for Christmas? So, this is where we differ, <laughs> Okay. I think, because I think you'd be more of like in your PJs. Yeah. So, I've, ever since I was young, we would tend to stay in our PJs up until... Christmas dinner up mm -hmm. until when we ate. So we would wake up, we'd go downstairs in our Christmas PJs, we'd have like breakfast um, and we'd open all our presents in our PJs and then we'd get changed and then we'd have Christmas dinner. Yeah, what well, would you get ready? You'd get ready. ready yeah, ready. we would, yeah. But it'd be later in the day. But it'd be later on in the day. Yeah. Whereas like I'd get up very early in the morning, like 7.30 or 7. It's probably not early to some. <laughs> um, and then uh, my dad would come over and then we'd have... Uh, that morning and then I'd get ready for like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Okay. And then we'd have Christmas dinner and then I'd be floating to different uh, people's houses uh, during the day. So I had to had to be ready. You had to be dressed. Yeah. Um, but you've spent Christmas with my family for the I past have. couple of years. But it was, years? That's, that's where it was a bit strange. Where, you were like, still in your PJs opening in, presents. Well, no, in like jogging bottom, in comfy clothes. Yeah. Like... I love getting, like, <laughs> Christmas PJs, like, specifically for Christmas Day. Yeah. I love that. So that was different. <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. If you could only buy one person a present this year, who would it be? No. That's this, tough. This is... No. I can't answer that. That's a very, very harsh question. No. <laughs> I think I would buy... I mean, it would have to be you. You're sat next to me. Or I'd buy someone <laughs> something that then, like, my whole family could go as well. All right, okay. So, like, I could get around it. So, say I, I bought yeah. you, like, tickets to see a show. I could buy you five tickets. Yeah. And then... Then everyone else <laughs> be more go, people. Yeah. Oh no, that's harsh. I, I would always like I be you. I can't answer that. It would always be you. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to say you as well, but my, my family might be watching. They'd be like, what? what? <laughs> Question number five. Do you open your presents on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? Oh no, always, always Christmas morning. Christmas morning. I know some traditions in um, other countries, they open them on Christmas Eve. Um, yeah. And I know some people are allowed to open like one present on Christmas Eve, but I've never done that. No. I've always just opened them in the morning. I've always always waited for Santa. Yeah. And then opened them the next day. Number six. Have you ever built a gingerbread house? <laughs> no, I haven't. I'd love to, though. I've, I don't think I'd be very good at it. But uh, I haven't, but I once hosted a gingerbread making competition, <laughs> which was... <laughs> it was on Christmas Day. Was it on the ship? When we worked on the cruise ship. So this was 2015. Was I on at this point? Yeah, I think you were doing something else. Like, I don't know. I'm not <laughs> sure what you were doing. Yeah. 
But um, I was up on the top deck in the in the sun because we were in the Caribbean, weren't we? Oh no, they all melted. And uh, it was just funny. It was like watching the. It was like doing the Generation Game. Yeah. Do you remember when you used to watch Generation Game? It was this TV show where you'd get a family on, and then they you would show them how to do something, and then they would do it. So the chef like showed them how to do this gingerbread house, and then all the guests tried making them, and they were just all falling apart. And stuff. Oh, no. so I just had to like walk around and interview them and. <laughs> Stuff like that. Maybe that should be a challenge one year that we try and make one. <laughs> you can get like, well, there were packs yeah. that they bought. You just have to assemble them. Yeah. <laughs> Number seven. What do you like to do on your Christmas break? So we have a few like little Christmas traditions. One is that we always try and go to Hogwarts in the snow. Mm-hmm. We normally don't tend to go around actual Christmas. We normally go a little bit before or a little bit after. Um, but that's one of our traditions. Um... We also love to go to the cinema on Christmas Eve. We really like that. And then we also tend to go for food as well, like Pizza Express. Um, And then we head to a family friend's and we have a huge Christmas (laughs) sing-along. Yeah, which of course uh, might be be very different this year. Yeah. Um, But yeah, that's kind of our like main traditions. And then we spend Christmas with my family and then we head to Newcastle. um, And then New Year's, we kind of have a few different traditions as well but yeah do you have any major ones no when i was growing up it was just that christmas eve was all about sitting in front of the tv and watching as many christmas films as i could (laughs) so number eight any christmas wishes uh well mine's just that everything goes back to normal same and that everyone stays safe and healthy and yeah that we can all get back to some normality next year yeah number nine favorite christmas smell Smell, smell of um, Christmas dinner. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> had to be linked with food. <laughs> I also really like cinnamon as well. That always reminds me of Christmas. Yeah. Uh, we have a cinnamon candle that always. Um, it's a sequoia lodge candle, and it always, oh, yes. it just really reminds me of like wintry, like Christmassy feels and yeah. Disney. <laughs> Number ten, your favorite Christmas meal or treat. Christmas meal. It's oh, just your Christmas dinner. Yeah, just your standard. Oh, Christmas, Christmas dinner, dinner is so good. I'm actually really hungry. I'm just like <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> Christmas dinner, I think it would have to be. Yeah. I and lo- also all of the chocolate. Yeah. Christmas dinner, but with Yorkshire's. Yeah. Yorkshire puddings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Next question. What are you doing for the holidays this year? Well, at the time of filming this, um we're not sure we don't know yeah (laughs) we don't know and we don't know when this goes out whether we have more clarity um but yeah i think if we're allowed then we will go to my family's for christmas and hopefully get up to newcastle to see your family Mm. but we don't know yet we don't know what's allowed if not we'll have a a christmas (laughs) together oh no I'll have You'll to have make... to cook Christmas oh, dinner. Oh no, I'll have to make Christmas dinner. I'll have to help as well. <laughs> Martin's the chef of the house. He's a lot better at cooking than me. It'll so be... it would, it, you would probably have to take the lead, but I would, I'd help. It'd be strange, wouldn't it? We'd have to like, I'm freaking out now. I've got to get all the ingredients. <laughs> we don't know yet. I've got to get the crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Number 12, what's your favourite holiday drink? It's a tough one oh, for me. I, I know what yours will probably be. What we have in the morning. Bucks Fizz. Bucks Fizz, yeah. Now yeah. I think my favourite holiday drink is mulled wine. Oh. Which you don't like. No, I'm not. I a, love mulled wine. I'm not a fan of mulled wine. I do love mulled wine. And it's, <laughs> it's that thing which I don't have it at any other time of year. Whereas I have Bucks Fizz at like different other celebrations. Mm. But mulled wine, it's like Christmas if yeah. I have it. Oh yeah, is, is, is Bucks Fizz technically a holiday drink? Yeah, but it's like a celebration drink. Yeah. I might have to go for hot chocolate. I was, was going to say, you <laughs> love hot chocolate. <laughs> um, number 13, candy cane or gingerbread men? Gingerbread men. Might be candy canes. Candy cane? You never have a candy cane. You'd have to get one. But if you put two in front of me. You'd go for the candy cane. I might cane. go for the candy cane. Ooh. I don't mind gingerbread, but... Too much ginger, I yeah. don't like. So it depends how they've been made. <laughs> I've got to try a little bit first. Number 14. What's your favourite Christmas song? 
I'm gonna go with Snow is falling. Yeah. All around me. I like What's the name of that? I wish it could be Christmas every day. Having fun, tears the season, loving and Merry, oh, no, Christmas, Merry everyone. Christmas everyone. Yeah. And I like I wish it could be Christmas every day. Yeah, that is a good that one. That is a good one. <laughs> That's the one which starts with the like shout, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think so, yeah, yeah. Did did it did it when the snow brings the snow. Love it. <laughs> um, number 16. What's the weirdest gift you've ever received? I actually can't think of anything. The weirdest gift? I can't really... Well, this... this I don't know why this came into my head, but um, we did Secret Santa ages ago. It was on a panto contract, literally about eight <laughs> years ago. No, even longer. I think like 10 years ago. And um, this is weird to other people, but not weird to me. My secret Santa got me um, baked beans and bread because I love <laughs> baked beans on toast. And saying that, my mum got me that huge baked bean tin the mm, other mm. the other uh, Christmas as That's well. That's right, yeah. <laughs> so people gift me like baked beans, baked beans because I love it so much. <laughs> um, uh, I'll go with the secret Santa as well. It's not necessarily a weird gift. It's yeah. just something I wouldn't I wouldn't think about getting. And it was a it was a postman pat. Cupcake mix. <laughs> Do you think they just panicked and they had to get the first thing from like I think, I think the so. services? They did score right though with Postman Pat, as people will know from Alton Towers. Love Postman Pat. Yeah, but that's random. Yeah, it is a bit random. <laughs> Number 16. Have you ever made a snowman? Oh, yes. yes. Ages ago though. I haven't made one recently. No, I'm not very good when it comes to snowmen. I don't think I've ever made more than just the base. <laughs> yeah. I and remember then put the, the hat on. <laughs> when we did Panto a few years back, and there's vlogs actually of when it properly snows. Mm -hmm. We didn't make a snowman, but we, we made snow angels. We could have made a snowman. Yeah, there was the thing is, so much snow. I get outside and I'm like, I'm too cold. <laughs> and your hands get cold. <laughs> but yeah, I used to make them as um, children, but I can't remember the last time I actually made one. Number 17, what is your favourite winter fragrance? Winter fragrance it's a bit the same as this smell, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I guess, um, I guess winter fa fragrance, if we're going to go perfume, I normally wear Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb because I always get gifted it at Christmas. Oh, well. I, I, yeah, I see. Right, Because okay, <laughs> it's so, like yeah. my, um, my scent. Um, so, yeah, I'm always gifted it. So it always reminds me of Christmas. <laughs> I'm notorious for getting given them and then... Yeah, not you wearing them loads, for ages. I'm a bit of a hoarder, of aren't I? With aftershaves. Ah, what aftershave do I normally wear? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember what ones you have? No, not at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've got a Ralph, no, have I? A Ralph Lauren? No. I think I once, I'll go, <laughs> it's not necessarily my favourite, but it's like the one I got at Christmas once, which was um, David Beckham. Also, do you know what fragrance reminds me of Christmas? Lynx. Lynx. Every, oh, yeah. every guy always gets gifted I do. a Lynx I get, box set. I get Lynx box set, yeah. <laughs> Lynx Africa. Yeah. <laughs> I swear it's like the staple present that every, <laughs> every man gets. <laughs> um, number 18. What is at the top of your list this Christmas? Ooh. I haven't, honestly, haven't thought about anything, really. Especially with the sort of year that it's yeah. been. That, you know, anything really is, you know, I, I appreciate. I think if we're talking... Not really expecting much. Yeah, if we're talking, like, materialistic, my top thing is probably a new phone. Okay. Um, Because I've had this phone for ages and the battery keeps, like, dying out yeah, really yeah, fast. Yeah. I, I've run out of storage and um, it's lasted me like a good like three four years but yeah probably if we're talking like something materialistic money towards a new phone that's probably what i'm saving for but i haven't really thought about much else so no. i think if we could spend it with family and friends that would be like the top wish and present yeah. ever um but yeah we'll see um number 19 what is most important to you about the holidays Oh, it's always spending time with family. Spending time with family and also that escapism. Yeah, and like... seeing seeing friends as well. You yeah. Know? It's always it's always good. It's it's nice to nice to connect. Yeah, and have that like week where it's just 
like I said, like pure escapism. Mm, like mm. it's just a time to like spend time with people, be happy, be merry, um, eat all the chocolate, <laughs> eat all the food. <laughs> and yeah, that's just the biggest thing about Christmas. Um, and I always think it's just a really lovely way to end the year. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So... Yeah, I am looking forward to it this year. I think especially this year as well. And then at number 20, what is your favourite Christmas tree decoration? <laughs> oh, it's going to be a Disney, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be a Disney. My favourite is a Mickey and Minnie that we got on our first trip in 2016. And they're dressed in all of their winter gear. And it's so cute. I think, are they kissing? Or they're like close Posing, by? Posing, yeah. yeah. uh, But I love it. It just reminds me of Christmas and our first trip to Disney. Uh, I'm trying hard to remember them now. Uh, I think my favourite one off the top of my head is the Stitch one, where he's wrapped up wrapped in the lights. I love all cool those one. decorations. There's like um, a set of them. Yeah, I'd really like to get uh, a few more of those ones. I want a Sully one. I think he's trapped in lights, isn't he? Yeah, I think there's Wally one as well. Wally or Baymax as well, I think. Baymax. I think there's a few... So that is it. That is our Christmas tag. Let us know if you take part as well and we'll be sure to watch it. But I hope you enjoyed hearing about some Christmas traditions. (laughs) It was really fun. So I found this Christmas tag online. So I'll be sure to pop the website that I found it from. Um, But yeah, I'll also pop all the questions in the description box too. But thanks so much for watching everyone and we'll see you tomorrow for another Vlogmas. Bye, toodle pipski. Bye.